slaughtering industry and agriculture are both associated with specific environmental problems. The slaughtering industry is very water intensive. Agriculture, on the other hand, is very dependent on synthetic fertilizers, which tend to be very energy and carbon intensive to produce. Slaughterhouse wastewater contains a lot of nutrients. Current technologies focus on eliminating these nutrients. This approach deals with one problem, but creates another, as the nutrients that could otherwise have a value are destroyed. The Water to Return project sets out to find out how nutrients in slaughterhouse wastewater can be recovered and dependency on synthetic fertilizers reduced. The project will develop new technology to harness the nutrients from slaughterhouse wastewater so that these can be used as new raw materials to make organic fertilizers and biostimulant products for farming. Not only that, the organic compounds that are found in slaughterhouse wastewater will be transformed through anaerobic digestion to produce energy. Some of the methane from the anaerobic digesters will be used to produce electricity and heat, and part of it will be transformed into hydrogen, which will then be used in a hydrogen fuel cell. The electricity and heat generated in these ways will be used in the wastewater treatment plant. Water to return is a novel approach which uses the wastes from one sector as inputs for another. As well as being a radical change in the way these industries work together, finding a new use for these nutrients means that we can become more self-sufficient when it comes to sourcing fertilizing products. Not only that, but crucially, the project will add value to an otherwise waste product creating the incentive to manage it more effectively. The energy production side also means that dependency on fossil fuels can be reduced. Finding solutions like this is crucial to moving towards a circular economy. One sector's waste is another's inputs. Water to Return received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme. Fifteen partners from eight countries have come together to make Water to Return happen. The project is coordinated by BioAsul. Check out watertoreturn.eu and our Twitter page to learn more about this exciting new project.